now, our, our chaplain, uh, Father Yusufa, was transferred. And since he left, we have been having deacons, can you say, uh, service for us. So when the demands came up, blessing us, they gave the elevation as a deacon. And I said, you know, we want to priest. Blessing us is very special. So that they have not raised a priest for us. So we went to Rwanda and Father accepted to come. We want to give a prayer. Father said it's a Thanksgiving occasion. Many speeches have been made, some very powerful, I don't know, more, you know, some very powerful speeches. I think that has been a very powerful speech. <laughs> when I was doing my speech, I was saying, ah, now, what should I say after him? <laughs> And of course, we are very happy as teachers when the child you have taught can now come and be better than you. When the children you have taught are being better than us, even in life, you meet them in town, um, they are better than us. But for us as teachers, that is our goal. Our goal is to inspire, to influence, as at the same time. So when we inspire and influence, and it happens, we are happy. So dear students, you have seen an old student of, my, of our neighborhood council here. She's doing very well. She's very appreciative. But as a student, it's, you must accept what you are being told. You must do what you are being told to become like her in life. So it's not a matter of business that, okay? No. It is you, because you can't take, but you take the course they want to bring, and they refuse to bring, there's not much you can do. So, this is a book, it doesn't do much if you refuse to listen. So, dear students, don't, don't listen to too many places about me. The places about you, the success is what? Yours. It is your personal responsibility. So today, as Father said, it's in that city. Whenever they sing that song, whatever they even, even the Moses says, Olibango. <laughs> whenever the Mass is said, it says, Olibango. That's my song. Whatever they say. Much more than I say. Whatever You know, in life, we pass through so many obstacles. At my age, you can see how they go now. You can see Mama Nunye, their age. Now, what's my age? <laughs> so, if I can still be working, if I can still be thinking, and the brain is working at this age, and I can still serve at this age, what should I say? He said he didn't have talent in instruments, but you have talent in singing. Thank God for that. Yes, thank God for singing. You are singing, you have made the mass very lively, and you are really fitted into our society because in our society, our masses have to be lively. That's why we do all this what you have done. Because if you don't make the masses lively in the Catholic Church, the children might depart <laughs> to go to churches like the what? Like the masses, like the services. So we try our best. So thank you for accepting to come. Thank you for the lively mass. Thank you for the sermon you have given us, dear Father. I want to thank God for our parents. I thank God for our parents. Parents who drove all the way. There are so many schools all the way. So many isn't it? You can say there are some schools in your homes. You left them and you came to our homes. Why don't you thank God for you?
just ask you two things. We know children are very precious. They are jewels, actually. They are jewels. The parents hope this is a child. The parents rather sacrifice and go without this, without that, as long as the child has got it. So children are very, they are, they are special with their parents. Even a teacher is normal. I take the books. If the books are good, buy food. I take them. Why are good by buy food? These are children. For you, in school, you can see children as statistics. They are just students. But these children, each one of them belongs to a home and parents. And each one of them is precious to their parents. and tell them the children are very special. And you don't even know where you need them, you know? So, children are special to you, but you have given them to us. And we are very grateful for that opportunity to serve you, serve the children. And for that reason, because of that, that's why we see us relating a very different way. We are different from other primary schools in that most of the money the parents pay must first of all go to the education of the children. We must make sure the teaching facilities are modern and the best. We make sure the food is reasonable. I know the children eat a lot of portion and beans. Some of them are complaining. I said, okay, can we raise that school fees to 1.6? Then we will be able to give a variety of food. Because the parents, you know, they are supposed to charge the one point six, one point eight, is it? And our school fees is only one million ninety five. It's a lot of money for some people, but on the school scale, it's not much money. So otherwise, that's why we do the best for the children. We thank God for our students. We thank God for our students. Without these students, there is no school. You can have beautiful buildings if there are no students. It's not a school. So students, we don't take it for granted. We thank God for you. We love you. That's a very small clap. We love you. We thank God our teachers. I think students, you know the teachers of this school are very special. They are here 24 7. I think you even get tired of seeing them. You wish they were not there because now you have no room for misbehaving. Because I take people that is what? The teacher. So we thank God for our teachers. We don't take them for granted. We thank God for our workers. People here work. It is in order we take a group photo with the parents. In Singapore, I don't know where we can start, but we try. Let's take a photo, Singapore.